All right, time to do level eight. Turtle Rock. Okay, first thing we gotta do is. Okay, we gotta fall in lava. Okay, the first thing we gotta do is go get a key. Hell. Luckily, it's nearby. There's a fast way to get it, and there's a hard way to get it. We're gonna do it the fast way. Because it's simple. Over here, near this wall, you can get in. That switch will be important for later. Pay attention to that. And this is the room where we need the key. This puzzle is kind of annoying because you actually have to use the D-pad to control this, and its controls are a bit finicky at times, so it can be very annoying, but if you get the hang of it, you can easily get keys and stuff. Now, we need to go get another key. Oh yeah, it's in the other half of the dungeon, it's kind of annoying. But we have to kill this son of a bitch. If you played the Oracle of Seasons or Ages games, you'll notice this is a mini boss that actually comes up a few times. I guess they recycled this from this game and made him a mini boss. Means he got a well adjusted upgrade. Unlike most of the enemies and mini bosses in this game, actually get downgraded. Kinda sucks for them. This... No, I don't remember it ever being in uh, any other Zelda game. For the Game Boy. But it'd be interesting to see a bomb throw back. Or at least something like it. Hmm. Alright. Should be near... Uh, yep. Like I said, uh, like a few segments ago, we're gonna be versing a lot of mini bosses in this dungeon. I'm not sure if they're all in them, but hell of a lot. Okay, so in order to get the key, we need to kill this son of a. Okay, that was pretty quick. Never mind. Well, okay, now we got the second key. Now we can go progress through another part of the dungeon. Kind of annoying. Yeah, that switch puzzle, you can do it in here, but it's only for rupees, so pay no attention to it. And the boomerang can is very useful against those enemies, and there are a lot of those enemies in this dungeon. I'm going to call them devils, because that's what they look like. Mm, it's, it's all based on luck. Okay, let's see. Dodge him, get some more hearts, more traps. Okay, if you actually, if you were doing a regular aim and you bomb all these things, it points to an arrow at the wall, which leads to a path which you'll get, which you need to go to later on in order to get to the mini boss and essentially the dungeon weapon, which is n not used that much. Well, only for the boss. And what the hell? What happened to the texture of that key? That that was weird. I don't know what the hell just happened there. Uh, I haven't experienced that glitch in my whole playthrough of this so far. I don't know what the hell that was. Okay, well, it, maybe it was just a one-time thing. Okay, so... Okay, now the second half of the dungeon, we need to get three keys, Al. Alright. I didn't get it. Fucking hell. Okay, let's see. Try it again. Again, n n what? Damn it! Okay, there. Texture again? What the hell? It's very strange. I don't know what the hell's going on. Some weird shit. Hmm. And here's the second key. And okay, now the now it's the blocks. What the hell? Okay, uh... It's pretty fucked up. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna reset it by going outside. And that is our last heart piece. Of that, we have all the heart pieces in the game. 16, I believe. 16 or 12. Uh, I don't know. I forgot. 
but now we don't have to get any more, and the only heart container left in the game is the final box. Well, not the final boss, but the boss of this dungeon. So, in order to get the third key that we need, we need to... We need to take these guys out from atop a ledge, which is annoying. Come on. Eat. Stupid bombs. Eat it. That's one. Come on, eat it. That's two. Fuck. Okay. Come on. Move away. You son of a bitch. Oh, come on. I hate this guy. Okay. That's one for you. Two for you. Okay, one of these guys gotta eat another one, and then they'll die. Alright. That's three for you. He's dead. Alright, and you? Eat this. Three. Okay. Okay, the texture palettes have been reset, so... That glitchiness was only temporarily. Yeah, it was temporary. Eh, I don't know what I'm saying. But, it's still kind of weird. Okay, so we're gonna go verse the uh, mini boss of the dungeon. And then get the dungeon weapon. So, first we gotta go backtrack. And Mario references again. And fireball references from Mario. Okay, then. So, basically, the area I said you had the bomb earlier. We're gonna go back there in order to get to the mini boss of the dungeon over here. Now, you wanna make sure you have the three keys that I showed you the locations for. Because that's the only way to get to this area of the dungeon. Kind of annoying, but yeah. And there's not really much to talk about at this point, just get to the mini boss and get out. <laughs> 